Hiningi namin ang tawad lahat ng ngayon pagkukulang pagkakasala na gawa pa yun. At in, pinapasalamatan namin sa buong linggo na yung pag-iingat sa amin, Lord. Thank you, Lord. At muli pa noon kami narito. Pakalinisin mo kami na maging holy kami pa sa iyong harapan sapagkat ikaw, Diyos, ay holy. Maging maayos po nawa ang lahat mula sa simula hanggang sa katapos pa noon. Ipabaon mo sa aking puso, Lord, ang dakilang kagalakan sa oras na ito, Painon. Ipabaon mo po, Painon. Pantulutin mo na, Painon, na kayo makaranas sa Lord ng revival sa oras na ito, Painon. Pour out your spirit today, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Anoin mo, Painon, ang bawat gagamitin mo sa oras na ito, lalong lalong yung mensahero, Painon, na yung gagamitin. Anoin him with your double anointing of your spirit, O oh God. With boldness and power, Lord, bless Him, my dear Lord Jesus, and open our heart and mind, Lord, para sa iyong mga salita, Painon. Nawa, Painon, maging dakilang pagpapala sa bawat sa samin, Painon, ang iyong salita sa oras. Thank you, Lord. We praise you and we honor you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Trust in the Lord and He will show thy path. Amen. Let me take this opportunity to welcome the visitors. Revisitors who have come again, Sister Elizabeth. Sister Elizabeth. Brother Kal, first time in Ashraf. Amen. And we have first time visitors. Brother Fortunato Arinos. Amen. Sister Mary Kal Arinos. Amen. Sister Maria. Amen. Live stream viewers, welcome. Pastor Lucy and Brother Henry from Philippines. Yes. Sister, <laughs> Sister Scarlett from Philippines. Brother Hervey from Oman. Sister Marlene from Dubai. Sister Annaline, Brother Vladi and family. Pastor Esting and Pastora Agnes. Mary Ann Morillo from Philippines. Brother Robert from KSA. Brother Genesis and Sister Jemima, Jemima from Philippines. And Sister Joy. Welcome you all. For first time visitors, just to share with you, we have most of the information in www one God Christ.com. You will get all information there. There are lots of messages which were spoken earlier is uploaded. So you can see them, feel blessed. There are lots of messages which can transform your lives. And we have worship service on every Friday here from 10 to 12. And then Muharak on Sundays from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And on Saturdays, we've got uh, Bible studies in different locations. In Adilia, in Jufair, there might be a, a change which will be announced shortly. And on um, Mondays, you've got Powerful Prayer Warrior. And on Tuesdays, there is Trauma Healing Workshop. And Wednesdays and Thursdays, there are Practice for Praise and Worship Songs. So you're all welcome to attend all this and feel all present, all, uh, feel all completely blessed. I would like to share with you, I go to gym, it, I've been going for some time, it's been almost six months, don't look at me and judge. <laughs> it, it took a long time to make this, so it will take that much longer to go put it down. <laughs> Look, there are, there are two uh, instructors there, Filipina, you know, since I've been going there regularly, they got friendly with me. And they were, they were talking and sharing their problems. 
that they have this problem, that problem in life. I have been trying to bring them here. You know, they keep mentioning that um, their salary is low, they have problems back home and family, they are not happy. I tell them come here. But it's been six months, they are not, not coming here because they know there are restrictions here. Path of uh, one God Christ is not easy, but the rewards are high. So, blessed are those people who have stepped into this hall. We are all blessed, which many people don't realize. They don't take this opportunity to come up in their life. You know, all of us have got untapped potential within us. If you want to connect with the potential that is there within our subconscious mind or within our mind, you need to have a peaceful mind. And this, this present kind of uh, society and the country conditions, economic conditions, the stress levels are very high. Technology is, you know, progressing so fast, it's throwing up so much of information, we get confused. If you need to build up peace in your heart, replace the turmoil that is going on in your heart with the Lord. Once you get peace in your heart, you can get connected to the untapped potential in you and you can start working on your dream. Expect the best and the best will happen to you. Expect the worst, worst will happen to you. Like I said in the beginning, according to your faith, so be unto you. Now is the time. Let us all greet each other. Tai Patyamoy. Tai Putyamoy. Putyamoy. So please clap and dance from all your heart and greet each other with love and God's love. Amen. Amen. So pray ng Dios. Amen. Welcome po natin ang bawat isa nandoon yung kagalakan at uh, love, pagmamahal. Amen. Let's welcome each other with gladness and love. Amen. We are the family of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I love this family of God So closely knitted into one You have taken me into your heart And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family Amen! I love this family of God I love this family of God So closely knitted into one You have taken me into your heart And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family One more time! I love this family of God So closely knitted into heart You have taken me into your heart And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family You have taken me you have taken me into your heart And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family You have taken me into your heart And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family Oh, great this family Oh, baby This family Amen Amen Parang pa natin ang malakas sa ating Panginoon Amen, hallelujah Purihin ang Diyos At tunay nga po ang
Kitang-kita naman po sa inyo ay yung pagmamahalan. Amen. Ang bawat isa nandoon yung pag pagbati, pag-great, pag-welcome sa mga bagong uh, visitor po. And tunay nga ang 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 church na ito ay uh, itinilaga po ng ating Panginoon o para po sa mga pamilya. Amen. So we are the family of God at uh, let's continue to worship him and praise him. He is our great God and what's your living God. Amen. The Lord our God. Naniwala po ba tayo na ang Panginoon ay na, nasa sa ating kalagitnaan ngayon? Yeah. Amen. Do you believe that our God is with us Amen. this morning? Amen. So, dapat ko pa ba lang English? <laughs> Amen. Mas, na, mas naunawaan yung English <laughs> sa, sa Tagalog. Amen. Purihin ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's worship the Lord. God is with us, He is mighty to save. His light is in us, He renews with His love. The Lord our God is with us, He is mighty to save. He rejoices over us with singing. He rejoices to offer us with joy. Amen. Come to church. The Lord our God is with us. He is mighty to save. He's the light is in us. He renews when it's gone. The Lord gives praise and honor, taking all of the shame. He rejoices over us with singing. He rejoices over us with joy. The Lord our God is with us. He is mighty to save. He rejoices over us with singing. He rejoices over us with joy. The Lord our God is with us, He is mighty to save. He's the light is in us, He renews with His love. The Lord our God is with us, He is mighty to save. He rejoices over us with singing. Here rejoices over us. Here rejoices over us. Here rejoices over us with joy. Amen. How we rejoice? Our world rejoices. Our world rejoices. Our world rejoices. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I 
Doesn't depend on the circumstance, the strength of my heart or my voice. It doesn't depend on the way I feel. I made up my mind and I've got to rejoice. I will rejoice. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Purihin ang Diyos. Amen. Bagamat po yung awit natin, I will rejoice. But nakikita pa rin natin yung kalungkutan. Amen. 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 So, but uh, purihin na yung Diyos, dahil tunay nga, um, batin ng ating Panginoon na mula po sa ating mga puso ang ating kagalakan. Amen. Dahil sa lamang ang ating tinataas sa mga oras na ito. Amen. So, purihin na yung Diyos, patuloy po tayo. Aawit sa Kanya. At siya lamang ang ating papurihan at pasalamatan. Amen. Siya lamang ang ating itaas sa pagkakataong ito sapagkat ang Diyos natin ay marapat na paglingkuran, marapat, marapat na sambahin sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Bless us, Lord, in this morning. Damin mo, tanggapin mo kami, Panginoon, bilang haing buhay. Amen. Sa iyong harapan. We know, Lord, that we are not deserved, but we are here, Lord, to serve you, to praise you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the promises you've given to us, Lord. I will serve you because I love you. You have given life to me. I was nothing until you found me. You have given life to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Heart of change, broken people, all eyes are wide. You died on Calvary. Your touch is what I long for. I long to have given life to me. Heavenly Lord Jesus, Hallelujah, Lord. Come to church. Let's worship the Lord. I will save you because I love you. You have given life to me. Oh, you 
tide of Calvary, the ocean is what I love for. Serve no 
Hallelujah. Pilapas na lamat ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. The fuck God, you are the great God. The great I am. Hallelujah. You deserve, Lord Jesus, to worship you. You deserve, Lord God, sa mga papuring awit, Panginoon. Tunay nga, Panginoon. Ikaw lamang ang aming tinataas. Hallelujah. Ikaw lamang ang aming sinasamba, Lord Jesus. mag ka sa aming buhay. mag ka, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord Jesus. Nawa, Lord God, ang aming mga awitin na makarating po sa, sa trono ng iyong bihaya, Lord. Tunay nga, Lord Jesus. Bagamat hindi man perfect, Panginoon, but ginawa po namin ang aming best, Lord Jesus, to worship you, to praise you, Lord Jesus. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Purin natin ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Praise, praise. We have another visitor, Brother Prince. Welcome po. And welcome for all the visitors who entered uh, about 15 minutes ago. Praise God. Have you ever imagined from where we have all the problems in our life? Problems of money, problems of relationships, problems of health, job pressure. Where does it originate? It originates from here. It originates from our thinking. The more we think about it, it goes easily into our subconscious mind and that comes out as a problem. Now, if you have to change this, it is not enough if you just get inspired or if you get motivated by a message. What is required is complete transformation. Only when you transform your life. See, you cannot do the same thing in your life again and again and again and again and expect a different result. You cannot. You cannot, you know, come for worship service for one day and then stop coming for a few days and then, and then believing that things are not happening in your life. Or, or you don't, you don't know, read the scriptures, you don't believe, you don't build your faith. You, can, you might get inspired for five minutes or ten minutes. Then you walk out of the room, you forget everything. That will not work. What works is complete transformation. And transformation comes by building your faith. And faith comes from hearing and hearing. Amen. So you have to give your hundred percent. And believe me, believe in Jesus. Your problems will just fizzle out one by one. Amen. Okay. Let's welcome again Brother Ronald. We have a visitor, Brother Iqbal. Okay. And let us all put our hands together to wish happy birthday to baby Elia. God bless you. Amen. Okay, let's welcome Sister Melanie for giving the offeratory usher prayer. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Magandang umaga po sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Tayo po itumayo. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 to 21. Once again, Matthew 6, chapter 19 to 21. Matthew 6, chapter, uh, 6, verse 19, Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Verse 20, But lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth or rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Verse 21, For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Amen. Sa Tagalog po, huwag kayong magtipo ng mga kayamanan sa lupa na dito'y sumisira ang tangga 
at ang kalawang. At dito'y naguhukay at nagsisipagnakaw ang magnanakaw. Verse 20, Kundi mga agtipon kayo ng mga kayamanan sa langit na dooy hindi sumisira kahit ang tangga, kahit ang kalawang. At dooy hindi naghuhukay at hindi nagsisipagnakaw ang mga magnanakaw. Verse 21, Sapagkat kung nasaan naroon ang iyong kayamanan, doon naman duroon ang iyong puso. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tayo po ay makakaupo muna. Salamat po sa Panginoon sa pagkakabasa ng kanyang mga banal na salita. Amen. Praise God. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sa gabi pong, sa umaga pong ito, sino po sa atin dito ang mayroong mga savings account? Wala. Meron. Sino po sa atin dito ang nag invest sa mga uh, stocks, mutual funds, and all? So, marunong tayong mag-invest, di ba? Tumaas ang kamay ni Sister Tess. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't get me wrong, mga magulang at kapatid. Sa umagang ito, may nais nice pong ipaalala sa atin. Reminder ang ating Panginoon. Amen. Praise God. You know, ang pagsisave po, ang pag invest hindi po yan masama. Ang masama po, kung yan na po ang pinapriority natin sa ating mga buhay. Masama na po yan kung pagka-receive mo ng mga blessings na galing ng Panginoon, iniisip mo na agad, ay, isa-save ko to, ay, invest ko to sa stocks. Why? Because you are thinking of return of investment. Ang iniisip mo yung interes na makukuha mo doon sa in-invest mo, di ba? Ang iniisip mo yung interes na makukuha mo sa banko kapag nag-impok ka doon. So, nasaan na ang puso mo? Sabi nga sa nabasa natin, kung nasaan ang iyong kayamanan, ay duroon ang iyong puso. Amen. Sa umagang ito, pinapaalalahanan po tayo ng Panginoon na nawa hindi po ganon ang mga motibo natin sa ating mga buhay. Kapag po natanggap po natin ang mga pagpapala na galing sa Panginoon, unahin po natin ang para sa Panginoon. Amen. Subukin nyo po na kapag tanggap nyo pa lang po sa inyong mga pagpapala na galing sa Panginoon, bago pa man po kayo gumastos ng kahit ano pa man, ibukod nyo na po yung para kay Lord. Dahil tunay po na kapag po yan ang ginawa ninyo, pinriority nyo po ang Panginoon, ipaprioritize din po kayo ng Panginoon. Amen. Praise God. At tatandaan nyo po, Maalala pa po ng Panginoon na kapag nagbigay ka sa Panginoon dito sa kabangyaman, huwag mong iisipin yung return of investment. Huwag mong iisipin na, Lord, magbibigay ako ng one dinner. Sabi ng Panginoon, sabi ng Bible, bibigay ng Panginoon ng siksik, ligligo, tumaapa, amen? Totoo po yun. Pero kung ang nagiging motibo mo na, once sa pagbigay mo, bibigay ako ng one dinner. Mamaya-maya, magmamagic, bibigay ng Panginoon niya ng triple. May return of investment. Hindi po banko ang pagbibigay sa iglesia. Hindi po mutual fund ang pagbibigay sa iglesia ng Panginoon. Amen? Ang tatandaan nyo po, ang kalooban pa rin po ng Panginoon ang siyang matutupad. Amen? Praise God! Totoo po yun. Amen? Praise the Lord. Na tatandaan po natin na ang Diyos na pinaglilingkuran po natin na hindi Diyos ng kalimot. Ang Diyos na pinaglilingkuran natin ay Diyos na tapat at Diyos na dakila. Amen. Praise God. Kaya po, sa umagang ito, pag nagbibigay po tayo kay Lord, wag po kayong mag-iisip. Wag po kayong magmotibo ng return of investment. Let thy will be done. Ang Panginoon po, ang siyang magpapala sa bawat isa. Amen. So, tayo po tumayo at manalangin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, muli po, Panginoon, magandang umaga po sa iyo, Lord God. At muli, Panginoon, walang hanggang papurit. Pasasalamat po sa inyo, Panginoon. Salamat po sa mga pagpapala na iyo pong pinagkatiwala sa amin. Salamat po sa aming mga trabaho, Panginoon, na nagiging daluyan ng iyong pagpapala, Panginoon. Lord, patuloy niyo pong basbasan, Panginoon, i-bless ang aming mga kumpanya, Panginoon, na patuloy po ninyong ginagamit sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon, na daluyan po ng iyong mga pagpapala. Nawa po, Panginoon, hindi po kami maging mga maramot, Panginoon. Hindi po kami maging selfish, Lord God, sa pagbibigay sa iyong iglesia, Lord God. Nawa po, pure, Panginoon, ang aming mga motibo, Panginoon, Lord God, 
na ito po ay ibalik sa inyo, Panginoon, Lord God, dahil ito po ay para sa iyo, Lord God, Jesus. Gamitin mo po, Panginoon, ang mga papapala na ito, Lord God, para sa ikalalaganap ng iyong ministeryo. Salamat po, Panginoon. Ikaw na po ang mag-bless sa bawat isa sa umagang ito. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. Amen. Praise God. I also lost some investment, sister, in mutual funds and uh, stocks. That's the reason is because I was thinking about only myself. Whereas when you open your heart and give your pledge, you're thinking for good of everybody, which will multiply and come back to you. Amen. Brother Eunice is celebrating his, he celebrated his birthday on 2nd. Second of this month, right? Okay. So he is going to give us a good song. Amen. Now I welcome Brother Yunus to come and offer the song. Amen. خدا یاد لام برای این همه داد و دست میمونم برای تو من اشتباه کن ولم به بخش منو به بخش منو همیشه این دلم برای گناهی که کردم میدونم به من اشتباه کردم میدونم این دلم همیشه میمونه برای این همه دل و غصه میخوام یه روشانی بمونه برای من همیشه تو میمونی دلم همیشه تنها برای این همه دردم میخوام یه روز شدی بمونه خدا یاد همیشه با منی در دلم میمونی میخوام بگم به قلبم همیشه برای تو ایمان ورده
تنها تو خدای منی تنها تو خدای منی برای تو جون و دل می دل جون و دل می دل خدایا این تمام جونم همه در دو هستم میخوام بدونی همیشه برای من میمونه خدایا Praise, praise. Forgive our mistakes, forgive our sins, and give us your blessings, O oh Lord. Amen. Happy birthday again, Brother Yunus. God bless you, always. <laughs> we have another live streamer from Australia, Sister Beng Tinson. Let's keep our hearts open. We cannot keep our heart half open to receive a message from the Lord. Forget everything that is happening outside. Open your heart, open your soul. A powerful message is going to be delivered by a Pastor Chris. Let's welcome Pastor Chris. Oh, she's giving a special number. Wow. Ah, okay. Sister Elias birthday, baby Elias birthday. So she is going to give us a special number.
Praise. Happy birthday, baby Elia, again. God bless you. So let us welcome our pastor, Pastor Chris, to deliver today's message. Amen. Praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is good. And thank you, uh, Brother Raj, Amen. God is so good. Amen. Parang wala na akong power. Mavi power. Praise the Lord. Now we have a uh, few announcements before we will start our worship service. And again, I would like to uh, welcome our brethren and yung ating mga first time visitors and for the second time that you uh, attended in the past at the Astra uh, encounter. Uh, we are really blessed to have you here and uh, you have all the schedules and the post in your journal so you can just uh, review them and uh, of course um, for our live stream viewers uh, from all over the world well, we are live streaming now in Australia even in uh, I think United States of America and in Saudi Arabia. Amen. God is so good and all the time Amen. Praise God. We don't have like major announcements, but uh, um, there will be no changes in the schedules during the month. I mean, during the month of Ramadan, so we will proceed accordingly. Uh, even even yung ating mga gawain every night, our Bible studies, uh, it will not be affected. So uh, um, uh, please uh, support the ministries, especially in ating pong Ashraf encounter. Amen. Praise God. May I request the congregation to please stand and let's open our Bible uh, in the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter number 11, verse 30. Hebrews 11, verse 30. Are you with me, church? Yes. Are you blessed, church? Yes. Amen. Sabi mo, sabi mo, kumusta ka na? How are you? Good. Amen. Praise God. Welcome back, Pastor Prince. Uh, Pastor uh, Praise. Uh, we, we, uh, we missed you last week, the group. Amen. But... Uh, praise God, you are here. And happy birthday, Brother Eunice. Amen. Happy, happy birthday. And kay Sister Leah. And sa ating pong mga kapatid na magbe-birthday for this month. Amen. Praise God. Let's open our Bible in the book of Hebrews. Ah, bakit bumalik siya doon? It's done, yan. Yeah? Okay, it's go, it goes back. Okay, Hebrews chapter 11. Chapter number 11, verse 30. Are you ready, church? Yes. The Bible says, by faith. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, by faith. By faith. The walls of Jericho fell down. After they were compassed about seven days. Amen. Everybody knows about the wall of Jericho. It's very significant. It's not only in the Bible, but if you will uh, uh, Google the history of the wall of Jericho, ano po? It's really very, 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 um, uh, should I say, uh, very significant when it comes to our faith. Amen. So our patriarch Paul, when he wrote the book of Hebrews, he mentioned about the walls of Jericho in which it fell down. Bumagsak po ang wall of Jericho. Amen. And today, we will talk about the walls. Amen. Do you want those walls to be broke uh, to be destroyed? Yes. Uh, very significant po ang mga walls. Amen. 
But before that, may I request the congregation to please pray and po sa ating pong uh, Panginoon right now. Let's give him a hand, hand clap of praise. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. Come on, church. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we praise you, Lord God. Jesus. We worship you, Lord God. We glorify your name, O Lord God. Jesus, we thank you, Father. Amen and amen and amen. Heavenly Father, Lord God, Jesus, we thank you, Father God, again, for bringing us here sa lugar na ito, Panginoon, Lord, because we do believe that your holy presence is in our midst. Lord God, Jesus, let your anointing be upon us. O Lord God, send your mighty angels to guard over us. Your Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Jesus, convict every hearer of the words, not only the hearers, but the doers of the, the word. Lord God, Jesus, let your anointing, Lord God, be upon us. Anoint our hearts and lips, Lord, as we listen and meditate your words. We thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus. We praise you. We give you thanks and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen and amen. You may be seated. Praise God. Okay lang po ba yung mic? Hindi siya ma-echo? Go, go, go. Ma-echo siya? Siya, siya, siya. <laughs> praise God. Amen. What am I the God we serve? Amen. I think that's, that's it. Amen. So, uh, Hebrews 11.30 is very significant. You know why? Because it is written in the Bible. It is not written in any, any book. That means it happened long, long, long time ago in the land of Israel. Now, we will dissect and we will study the Word of God according to to the scriptures in Joshua chapter number six verse one to five if you allow me to uh, to read it for you if you have your Bible you can open it amen in Hebrews chapter six verse five it says now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel none went out and none came in you know when when the Israelites uh, if you were here last I mean, if you were there in the church last Sunday, we were talking about Moses. Amen. Moses, they were, uh, they became slaves. Amen. They were slaves by the Egyptian uh, army or by the Egyptian Pharaoh. And uh, God heard their cries. God heard their, or saw their tears. So what happened? God pulled them out from Egypt, right? And God promised them. Amen. This is not your land. This is not the place where you belong. Amen. This is not the place that I wanted you to live with it. It's not. It's not. Amen. So sometimes God will just pull out, pull us out of the darkness and He will give us His marvelous light. Right? Amen. Sometimes we are claiming that this is what is going on to me. There is acceptance and that you already, you know, adopted to a place when it is not God's plan, but you claim to be God's plan, and God will do anything to pull you out. Amen. Try, try to think of it, brothers and sisters. Have you ever experienced like going in a dark place? Pupunta ka sa madilim na lugar. You can close your, 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 your door, your, your lights and everything. It will take some time that you will get adapted in a situation, right? Kahit na madilim na madilim, no lights, nothing. And at the end, like for example, uh, takriban niya ni, cham de giga, kam sa de giga, five minutes, okay, you feel that you can see, even though it's full of darkness, right? You can adapt yourself. And it seems that you are accepting the fact that, ah, okay na to, masaya na ako dito. But it seems that you accepted it in such a way that this is not the place that God wants you to be or to have. Right? Diba? Pagka adapted na yung mata mo, your eyes are adapted to darkness. You can see even, even the edge of the table, even the edge of the bed. Amen. Even, 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 you can take your, 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 your bone amidst of darkness. Right? Now, the devil can whisper you, this is it. You are happy. Amen. And then you will claim to yourself that, okay, I'm adopted, I'm happy, I can live with it. No way! It's not. God is light. And God can transform your darkness 
into His marvelous light. He can bring you out from darkness. Amen. Wag mo claim that this is the place that God showed you. Amen. And this is what happened to the Israelites. When they were adopted in Egypt, they were slaves. Amen. They were under the bondage of sin and slavery. They thought that this is God's plan. Ito na yung plano ng Panginoon sa akin. I will live, I will die. I was born and I will die with this scenario. No way. Hindi po yan ang kalooban ng Panginoon. And you know it. That's, that's why God pulled them out from Egypt. Amen. And God promised them. Promised means past tense. Nangako ang Panginoon that I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will pull you out from Egypt and I will give you a promised land. Lupang pangako. Pinangako po ng Panginoon niya. So it's a matter of obedience in His word, right? Right, church? If you trust God, kung anong sinabi ng Panginoon, you have to stick on it. Amen. Don't go right, don't go left, don't go backward. Stick to it because this is what is uh, God's plan. Amen. Amen. Those people who were misled, were deceived by the devil, they stayed in Israel. But those who were anointed, those who trusted God, they lived every day accordingly. And God brought them in the wilderness, but God did not even forget them. God blessed them. Amen. God provide everything they need. He provide manna, He provide bread, He provide everything. During the day, God gave them a fillers of cloud para hindi po sila masira yung kanilang mga, mga face. And during the night, God sent a fillers of fire during the night. Right? So, saan ka pa? And this is God's plan. Amen. But unfortunately, because of their disobedient heart, they did not obey according to the Word of God. Amen. There was a huge, huge, huge wall between them and God. Amen. And right now, we will talk about the walls of Jericho. Before they will go to the promised land, they traveled miles, miles away. But if you will take note of it, if they obey the word of the Lord, they can travel from Egypt to Canaan in 40 days. In 40 days, they can walk, they can, you know, in straight. Pwede po sila maglakad. Yung travel time between Egypt and Canaan, it will only take them for 40 days and 40 nights. Right? But this, because of their disobedience, what happened? Instead of 40 days, it took them not only 40 weeks, not only 40 months, it took them 40 long years. Wow! 40 long years is not 40 weeks. It's 40 long years. Why they suffered? Because of disobedience. Because of disobedience, hindi sila nagpalo sa kuman ng Panginoon. And this is a wake-up call for you, brethren. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wake-up call for you. If you are still living in your wilderness for, whole, for long, long years, brothers and sisters, you have to stop for a while and meditate the Word of God and see to it that you are walking according sa kaloba ng Panginoon. Otherwise, you are just roaming around. You are just roaming around. You know why? Because you are adapted to your situation. You are happy about the situation. Amen. And this is not what God wants you to be, Church of God. Amen. Right? Nay, tayo lang yata nag-uusap. Kumusta po kayo, Nay? Silonets, Shakbarets, Zain, Dayif? Sabi ko nga, pag walang nag amen that means you are not agreeing with what I'm saying. Tama, mali? Right? Right? Eh, ba't pa tayo nandito? Hindi naman kayo dito para makinig eh. We are here as hearer and doer of the word. Diba? Sabi ni Brother Jerry one time. Nasaan si Brother Jerry? Sabi, yun, sabi ni Pastor, we have to be hearer and doer of the world. Amen. Then nakita ko siya, nag-start siya kumuha ng mga upuan. Ano po? Sabi niya, Pastor, kailangan kong gawin eh. Hindi naman ako hearer lang. I am a doer of the word. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Dumarami ang doer. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, now Jericho. Jericho is a place wherein uh, this is kumbaga ito yung uh, boundary between the wilderness and the promised land. Right? And the Lord said unto Joshua See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of Baylor. God, when he spoke to Joshua 
Joshua is the commander of chief. Amen. Moses, Kalas, is already resting in God's hand. But Joshua, when God commanded him, Joshua, see, think no more. I have given into thy hand. It's a futuristic. Amen. Sabi na, I have given you, I have given into thy hand, Jericho. Binigay ko na sa inyo ang Jericho. Amen. Binigay ko na sa iyo ang pagpapala. Pero wala pa sa kamay mo. Sinabi pa lang ng Panginoon yan. Are you going to be happy or not? Huh? Come on. What about this? God told Joshua, I have given you already Jericho. But you are still in your, in your situation right now. You are not still in Jericho. But God told you, I have given you Jericho. Even the king thereof. It's all yours. It's in your hand. Nothing can miss you because I already prepared that place for you. What will you do? What will you do? What? Nay, tayo na lang nag-uusap eh. Kumusta ka na, Nay? Ano nangyari? Puyat ka yata kagabi. <laughs> what would you do, brothers and sisters? Sorry. What would you do if God already told you, promised you, God already told you, I have given you this? Huh? Claim it. Rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. Though it's not yet in your hand, but you have to rejoice. Because if you are still doubting God, that means you don't trust God. Right? You don't trust God. But Joshua, because he's a man of valor, brothers and sisters, when God told him, it is already in your hand. It's all yours. Amen? For example, ito na lang, example. Anong kung ating maawatan, pagbaga kanya. Okay. You have your father and mother a piece of land in your province. 1,000 hectares. Wow. 1,000 hectares. Namana sa mga Lopez. <laughs> Kay Gina Lopez. <laughs> now, your parents, your parents, before they, 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 uh, they, uh, they will give it to you, of course, meron silang bibigay ng mga, ang tawag nito? Mga, ano yung papel? Tawag sa papel? Ha? Huh? Title, title. Yes, they will give you title and your name on it. Okay? When you receive it, but you haven't seen your, your land, but when you receive the promise, when you saw the title and your name written on it, anong gagawin mo? Magalak. Right? Magalak. Anong ginagawa niyo ngayon? Anong kod? When God told you, God will save you, God pulled you out from darkness and He's giving you His marvelous light. Wow! Right? It's a promise. So when God told Joshua and the rest of Israelites, brothers and sisters, Amen, they were all amazed. They were all prepared. They really blessed God. They were really uh, uh, blessed because they haven't seen the Jericho wall, but they know that God promised them that God will give him the promised land. Amen. God gave him the promised land. Amen. Okay. Para maunawaan natin. Ano? Hindi tayo nakakaunawaan eh. The first city they come to after crossing Jordan is Jericho. There's no other way. Before they will go to Canaan, amen, they have to pass Jericho. No other way. No shortcut. No long cut. Wala. They don't have anything, but they have to face the Jericho. Now, the greatest world fortress of all time in the Bible, the wall of Jericho, it was built. A very strong, strong fortress. Amen. Ito po, pinaka, uh, nothing can beat the Jericho wall until now. Even the Great Wall China. It is a military citadel uh, unparalleled in those days with walls so thick that chariots could traverse atop them. So from a human perspective, it was considered an Unconquerable city. Nobody can conquer. It is unconquerable. It is improbable. It is impossible to pass on that area. And it is impregnable. Amen. Impregnable. Nobody can, can uh, 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 go inside because it is a thick wall. Thick wall po yan. Amen. But this is the problem, Church of God. God promised you Kanaan, but there's a thick wall in front of you. 
Ano kaya ang gagawin natin? May balakid. Amen. Sabi mo nga sa mo, balakid. Amen. You know, Church of God, this thick world is a boundary between you and the promise of God. Youth's boundary. Amen. And we will talk about it later. God's already planned. He already planned. Before the foundation of the earth, sabi ng Bible, God already planned. Right? Pastor Praise, God already planned before that you were still in Zimbabwe, right? You're from Zimbabwe. Before God brought you in Bahrain, He already ordained the first day that you came into this church. The date, the time is already planned by God. Right? It is already planned. It's not by accident. I'm telling you, it's not by accident. God already planned. Amen. Ahead of time. Amen. Even si Sister Beth, she was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ last Tuesday. It was already planned. It was already planned. Gumaganda po kayo, Naya. Para inspired ka. Amen. Hindi, hindi ako nagbibiro. Cross my heart. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yung first time ko nakita si Nani Beth, talagang, she was really, but now, Amen. Ano, ano po yung lipstick nyo, Naya? Ano yung lipstick nyo? Ha? Huh? Budget? Ah, magic! May, meron tayong mga taga-BTF, ha? Ba'y baka may mga sample tayo? <laughs> Amen. No, no, I'm not kidding. You know, God can transform yung ating mga buhay. And this is what happened, brothers and sisters. Amen. God already ordained, God already planned sa ating mga buhay. It's not by, by chance, Sister Ma- Maria. When Sister... Who, who brought you here, Sister? Sister Jane? Sister Jane? Sister Jane already prayed for you. Amen. And God brought you here because He has a purpose on your life. Everything may reason ng Panginoon. Everything may plano ang Panginoon. And this is what happened, kapatid. Ano? Uh, pinlano na ng Panginoon that you and Brother Max will meet in Casino Garden. Right? So instead na natutulog tayo ngayon, Brother Fortune na lang. Fortune na ito. Medyo... Ha? Ah, Fortune. Nonoy. Parang mal- Nonoy, okay. Brother Nonoy, hindi po ba? Dapat ngayon, nasa bahay lang tayo. But God brought you here because God has a purpose. So everything has a reason. Has a reason. Amen. Right? Kapatid, ang Panginoon, nilagyan niya kayong pangalan ng Maribel because He has a plan. He has a plan. Amen. Magandang Maribel. Huwag lang Jezebel kasi Jezebel. Otherwise. So everything happens because God has already planned. And this is what happened. Sa Israelites, he pulled them out from darkness. He pulled them out from Egypt because God already has a plan. He will never pull you out from any situation if God will just leave in you. Amen. Hanging. No way. Hindi kayo ililib ng Panginoon. Tinanggal kanya sa isang, sa isang scenario sa buhay mo. God has a wonderful plan. Amen. Now, not only that, God has already provision. He will provide everything. He invited you nga eh. Right? Meron ka ba ditong nag-invite ka tapos yung in-invite mong papakain sa'yo? Meron akong kilala, no? Nanay Inela. Kasi ako ibulong ko sa'yo? No way. No way. Right? Sister Marlene, she was, she's watching right now. In-invite kami. Last kailan niya, Sunday, no? In-invite kami. Eh, Siyempre, nahiya naman po kami. Bisita namin siya. Pero siya yung nag-invite. Siya yung naglibre sa amin ng McDonald's. Amen. Sino dito yung nag-invite tapos yung in-invite mo siya magbabayad? Sino dito ang ganun? Nugali. Uy, may hiya ka naman, no? Ang kapal ng hap. Kapal ng makeup mo. <laughs> it's not, right? Of course, those. God has already provided everything they need. He provide from A to Z. He provide mana, He provide food, He provide shelter, He provide water, everything. It's all provided. Tax-free. Tax-free. <laughs> See? So God has already planned and God has already provide, uh, provided. And of course, God already promised you. Right? God promised us to give a better life. God promised you to have a successful life. God promised you to have a healthy life. Sorry po, sorry.
Praise God. Yung reception natin, bro. Yung wireless. Okay. Praise God. Amen. Yan. Live stream. Okay? Nakakarinig, Brother Herbie. Loud and clear. Sister Harriet in California. Sister Beng in Australia. Loud and clear. Okay. Praise God. So God already promised. And when God promised, brothers and sisters, you have to claim it. Amen. Praise God. Meron, meron siya. You have to claim it. Amen. Walang basag na speaker, ha? Pero may basag na ear drums. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So, God has already planned, God already provided, and God promised. Amen. Nandiyan na po yan. All packaged in one. Now, He promised us to go to Canaan. Wow. Anong nangyari? Napabilis. Okay. Canaan. May na daw, kapatid. Praise God. Yan, malakas. God promised them to Canaan. What is Canaan? Canaan, it is a land that flowed with milk and honey. So, dito na lang ako, ha? Okay lang. Malikot kasi ako, eh. Sabi nga ng mami ko, nung bata daw ako, para kong tiki-tiki. <laughs> ha? Hindi pa ako tapos. <laughs> yung tiki-tiki. Yung kitik-kiti. Alam niyo, alam niyo yung tiki-tiki? Vitamins yun. Hindi pa kasi ako tapos. Wala pang bisulbo nun, saka centrum. Tiki-tiki lang sa amin nun. Okay. Kanan, it's a, it's, a, it's a promised land. It is a promised land. Amen. It's a promised land. Now, if you will take a quick look, God has already planned, God already provided, God already promised that He will give you this Canaan. God already ordained you. He promised you a lot of things. Amen. But the problem is, that's not easy. That's not easy. You need a lot of courage. You need a lot of faith. You need a lot of, you know, yung, uh, tenacity. You need a lot of things para makanker mo yung promise ng Panginoon. Right? You need a lot of sacrifices. You need a lot of things na kailangan mo ma-overcome yung lahat po ng pangako ng Panginoon. And what's this? This is the thing. There's a big gap between the God's plan, God's provision, and God's promise, and that is the wall of Jericho. So, nobody can do shortcut. You cannot go here, you cannot go there. You have to pass over Jericho. Amen. And that's the wall. You want to feel the presence of God, you have to do something. Right? You have to do something. Amen. God is not happy for you. If you are living in sin, brothers and sisters, God is not happy for you. That's why you need this Jericho wall considered a big wall. Upang second on God cannot, 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 cannot give you the desires of your heart. You know why? Because there's a huge gap between the promise of God and sa harap mo. You have so many excuses. Israel could not retreat. They couldn't. They haven't been in, in, uh, in Egypt for how many years? For almost 400 years. And they were in the wilderness for almost 40 years. They cannot go back. They had no alternative except to go forward in victory or suffer death. Dying at the hands of the foes or hunger and thirst in the wilderness. Hindi po ang pangako ng Panginoon, right? God wants you to move forward. Amen. Sino dito makakaprove na May 5 ngayon, right? It's May 5. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's May 5, 2017. Tomorrow, it will be May 4, 2017. Right? Bakit? Because we're moving forward. Eh, bakit ang buhay mo pabalik? Ha? Huh? Bakit pabalik ang bu buhay mo? Ha? Huh? Eh, al alas 45 ka na kung may kerengking ka pa. <laughs> Tapos binabawalan mo yung anak mo. <laughs> Come on, Church of God. We have to move forward. Amen. We have to move forward. So this is the God's plan. He has provisions and He has His promise. In order to go to Canaan, you have to pass Jericho Wall. Sa? Bawat ang tibag baka kanya? Ay, tindyan nyo na ako kanyan? Ha? Okay. Kapampangan mo. Now, each of us, we have a world city in our lives. You have to accept it or not before going 
to God's holy presence, there is a big wall in our lives. Oh, bakit namud na doon? Ay, bakit tayo bumalik? Move forward. Talaga ang jablo oh, pagka Okay. Dito tayo nagtapos. A place of hopeless defeat we don't think we can conquer. Kaya ang marami nang quit. A lot of people they are quitting. They cannot bear their Jericho wall. A lot of people, they quit. They are already attending a wonderful worship service. Amen. And along the way, I, I saw quit now. Please. Ayoko na eh. Bakit? Personal, pastor. Why? Sometimes, brothers and sisters, people, they cannot bear the wall in their life. They cannot go. They have to quit. You want to go back to the wilderness? You want to go back to Egypt? You want to go back to slavery? It's, a, it's your choice, brothers and sisters. But you are already here. You are already ordained to be in front of your Jericho wall. Ano man po yan, brothers and sisters? It is a barrier that stands in our way and it seems to give up on that one. It's the only way to view it. Amen. Now, what is your Jericho in your life? May mga Jericho tayo. Hindi si Jericho Mora, ano? Morales, ha? Rosales. Ha? Alam ko, klasyo si Jericho. Oh, isang ligo lang ang layo sa akin. Doon. <laughs> what is your Jericho? Unhappy marriage? Sino dito hindi masaya sa kanilang pamilya, sa asawa? Come on, be, 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 ha be happy. Come on, be honest, church. Who is among you is not happy Sister, when bakit ka tawa? Happy si brother. Aris, kamo naman. Amen. Akala ko magtataas si sister in day. Yeah. Inan lang pala yung buhok niya. Sino dito? Hannes, Hannes Hart, come on. You're not happy? Boy pa po yung mga asawa ninyo, right? But you're not happy, right? Jericho yan. Jericho yan. Amen. How many of us, we have a guilt over past sins? May mga kasalanan tayo hanggang ngayon, hindi natin mapatawad yung sarili natin. Yes, yes, yes. Jericho yan. Those are Jericho, brothers and sisters. You cannot move. Tandaan mo, you cannot move. You will be stagnant into your place. You are just, you know, sucking your thumb in front of your Jericho. You don't know what to do, brothers and sisters. Now you have to do something because God promise is already there. You have to take it. You have to claim it. Amen. But you are delaying a lot of things because of this Jericho. Sometimes, a lack of education. Pastor, hindi naman ako nag-aaral. Come on, Church of God. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse, Pastor. Kaya po ako hanggang ngayon naghihirap because I did, not, uh, I did not study. Come on. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Tanda mo yan. I am not a musician, but because I studied music, I learned. It is yourself. Amen. Kung gusto mo matuto, Kalas, how many brain cells you have? How many brain cells we have? How many axons and dendrites we have? Billions of axons and dendrites. Billions of brain cells. You have to use them. That's why for me, I, I, I'm a person. I'm already now uh, 58 years old. <laughs> I'm already 41 years old, my dear. But I don't want to stop your knowledge and wisdom that God is giving me. I want to study a lot of things. I want to learn a lot of things. Amen. Don't be stagnant. Amen. Don't be stagnant. Amen. Amen. Kaya hanggang ano, I'm still reading books. I'm still reading books. I'm still reading journals. I'm still reading news because I have to feed my brain. Billions po yung brain natin. So it's not an excuse. Pastor, I'm a lack of education. Come on, Church of God. Sometimes, you know, in Alba, you know, I'm working in Alba, some of our, our employees, they did not even attend that high school. But because they want to learn. Now, some of them, they are supervisor and superintendent. Because they want to learn. Amen. I was really blessed. One Bahraini, Brother Eunice, he said, uh, Doctor, I was, being, I was here only grade 5. The, 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 you know, yung pinaka grading system, lowest grade in Alba. But now he's superintendent. 
I ask him, what is your secret? I love my work, doctor. I want to learn a lot. See, now, a superintendent. Is education magiging balakid niya? Pastor, I, I, cannot, I cannot share the Bible kasi hindi ako nag- Come on. Balikan mo si Brother Henry. Brother Henry, ha? Huh? is not uh, yung hindi nakakalong kay Brother Henry, he was one of our elder, asawa po ni Pastor uh, Lucy. Imagine, brothers and sisters, sabi po, hindi siya nahiya. He only studied until grade 4. But he can read. Amen. At kapag nagbabible study, he knows everything. Alam niya, pag sinabi kong, King Hahas, bad. King, uh, King Ezekiah, good. He knows. Right? So it's not an excuse. Lack of education sometimes, you know, nothing, yung self-pity natin, ano, sinasak na rin, hindi naman ako nag-ano, wala na ako pag-apagas. We only live once in this life. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you have only one way ticket. Amen. No turning back, you have to move forward. Amen. Pastor, hindi po ako marunong, kaya po, ganito lang trabaho ko. No way. Do not accept those things. That is the work of the devil. Tandaan nyo yan. Amen. We are unlimited because once we will go to heaven, God will not call the doctors and engineers. Okay, oh, all the doctors and engineers move forward because you are all uh, intelligent. No way! Ang tinitingnan ng mga Panginoon, yung puso. Puso na malinis. Puso na nakakaunawa, na tama at mali. No other way. No other way. A lack of motivation. Is this what? Uh, a big, a big Jericho wall? Sa'yo, you're not motivated because you cannot move forward kasi ito, itong asawa ko, yun ang babae, kaya manalalaki rin ako. No, that's not motivation. Ang motivation mo, ginawa ng asawa ko, yung pag-pray ko, pastor. Kasi yung mga anak ko, they are still longing to have a perfect family. Right? Pag minsan, you have to consider your sons and daughters. Huwag mo lang isipin yung sarili mo. Amen. I know it's too hard, amen, for your, for your uh, part. Kaya nga po, you have to be motivated because that is the plan of God. A lack of confidence, this is a huge Jericho wall, right? A lack of confidence sa sarili mo. Amen. Ito yung pinaka-importante. A lack of money. Yung financial downfall. Pastor, hindi ako makakaten. Bakit? Wala po akong pambas. Okay. Tapos makita mo sa, sa Facebook niya, ah, nasa, nasa, ano, nasa, nasa Gian, naka-selfie, naka- Come on, stop making excuses, brothers and sisters, and many, many more. Ano nangyari? Yan ay. Ah? Pagod ka na? Bakit nagbumo backward ka? I think my pointer is going elsewhere. I think that's the problem, right? We're delaying a lot of things. Kaya yung five minutes. Okay. Where are we now? Sana tayo. Sa Aslap, ha? Okay. See? Why it's going back? Can you move forward, sister? Help me na lang. Help me na lang ako. See, dapat mag-manual na lang tayo, eh, no? Oh, bakit tayo bumabalik? Mukhang hanggang doon na lang yata, ha? Hindi pa ba kayo nahilo? Nahilo na ako dito, eh. Balik, 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 balik. Yes. Balik. 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 Yan. Okay. Ito pa. What else? Unforgiving spirit, resentment, and bitterness, struggle with an illness, may sakit at karamdaman ka, loss of loved ones, struggle with an addiction, struggle with a partner or child, struggle with a complete emotion, completing emotions. These are all barriers. These are all Jericho wall. Amen. Are you with me, church? Yes. Verse 3. The Bible says, and ye shall compass the city. Sabi ng Panginoon, kanina sa verse 2, I have given you already the Jericho, even the king thereof. I have already given you. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, all ye men of war, to, and go round about the city once. That's all those six days. So God is giving them what? Instruction. Huh? God told them, ikutin ninyo yung wall of Jericho once only in six days. Bakit kaya? Right? It's strange. This is the problem. Ikutin mo lang. First day. Finish? Amen, Lord. Second day. Ikut ka lang. They did it for six days. Six days. And this is what God uh, uh, informed them or instructed them. And seven priests.
Ready. Praise the Lord. Para lang iba yung boses ko. <laughs> so God already gave them instruction. Clear instruction. Every day, one time, until six days. On the seventh day, encompass the city seven times. And after that, blow the trumpet. It's like nonsense. What is this, Yanni? All the men of war, they were all this gear and gadgets. They have all the spears. They have all these instruments. They are ready to fight. They are ready to invade Jericho. But God gave them what? A simple instruction. What? Just encompass once every day until six days. And on the seventh day, six times. Uh, ano gagawin? Tatakbo ka lang. Ikutin mo lang yung Jericho wall for seven times. And all of them... All of them, they were all in gear. Huh? They have all the instruments. They have all the spears. They have all the... Yung naka-warrior suit sila. Ready to battle. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, No. Run, umikot lang kayo. Seven times on the seventh day. Right? Wow. And it shall come to pass. See? God says, And it might. No. If God will tell you, Shall... 100% it will happen. Right? Sino mga English teacher dito? Mga teacher natin. Sir Joseph. Amen? Hindi, tinatanong ako, teacher ka, no? Nang math. Math, ano? Science. Wow. Science. I love science. Okay, tatanong ko sa'yo. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, tu-tu-tu! And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall invade, shall kill, shall destroy. No. Once they hear the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Mind you, it was just a word of God. It will happen in a few days. At this moment, it's just a word of God. Amen. But all of them, they were all prepared. Watch this. Joshua 6, 12, 16. Now, Joshua, get up late in the afternoon. Ah, what? Joshua got up early the next morning. Amen. Lahat na nagigising ng 4 o'clock magsabing amen. amen. Yung totoo. Amen. Sino yung laging late sa kanilang trabaho magsabing praise the Lord. May problema yan. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Joshua got up in the next morning and the priest took up the ark of the Lord. The seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward. The seven priests Meron silang mga torotot. Anong magagawa ng torotot sa bato? They have, you know, they have their horn. Not a spear. Not a sword. Not a gun. They're just bringing a horn. They went forward, marching before the Ark of the Lord. Round, down, 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 down. So the ark of the Lord and blowing the trumpets, the armed men went ahead of them and the rear guard followed the ark of the Lord while the trumpets kept sounding. So, 
Sino mahilig dito sa tarotot? It happens. Watch this. Excited na kayo? So on the second day, they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did for six days. See? None of them complained. None of them complained. None of them told God, this is ridiculous. Nakakaya. All the Israelites, they were trained to kill. They were trained to fight the battle. But here we are. We're just holding a horn. Amen. Six days. Tapos na, tapos na. Oo, pahinga na kayo. See, may po ba ang instruction ng Panginoon? Come on, church. Is it hard to follow, obey the Word of God? Come on, church. I need, I need, I need your answers. Is it hard? For some, it is hard. But every day, for six days, once, ano po, iniikot nila ang wall of Jericho. On the seventh day, watch this. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the month, in the same manner, except that on that day, they circled the city seven times. So on the seventh day, what happened? They circled for seven times. Amen. Ito na, verse 16. The seventh time around, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout! For the Lord has given you the city! Wow. Shout. Ano yung sa shout ko, Pastor? Huh? Ano yung sa shout ko? Praise God. What? Sinong, sinong batang 80s dito? Batang 80s. Nakikinig ng, Si Matar! Ano? Si Matar. Oo, oh, si Matar. Ha? Huh? Yeah. Tugudug, tugudug, tugudug. Di ba? Ang ganda, ganda, ganda. Ha? Oh, y- Yung tabi namin bahay noon eh. Pag alas 6 ng gabi, makulimlim. Narinig ko yung radyo eh. What will you shout? What will you shout? Complain? No. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. For the Lord has given you the city. Amen. Joshua 6 verse 20. When the trumpets sounded, the army shouted. And the sound of the trumpet when the man gave a loud shout. When the man gave a loud shout, the wall, the wall, the wall collapsed. Woo! You know, church, sometimes, brothers and sisters. Tinitingnan ko yung bawat, bawat mananampalataya sa church na ito. You know, sometimes Brother Max is telling you, come on, maging lively kayo. Di ba, Brother Max? I love this family of God. Di ba, Brother Max? I know. I've been with him for the past how many years? I know. May iba ngayon. I love the family of God. Come on, church of God. You have to be awake. Huh? They were in, that, in the front of their Jericho and they shout with the voice of triumph. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! And the wall of Jericho collapsed. Not by might, not by by power, but by the Spirit of God. Not by might. The wall of Jericho did not collapse because you shout. The wall of Jericho collapsed because of your obedience. And because the power of God is moving into your life. Amen. Amen. Can I stop making excuses, brothers and sisters? This is not a, a, a storyteller or something that we This is from the Bible itself. Amen. 
Imagine when they shout, the wall collapsed, so everyone charged straight in, and they took the city. They took the city. Amen. Wow, saan ka makakita ng ganun? You will never find in the World War I and World War II that they did these things, brothers and sisters, only in the Bible. Only in the Bible. Amen. When you come to your Jericho, dito tayo matatapos. Come on, church. When you will come to your Jericho, you have only two choices right now. If you will encounter your Jericho wall right now, sicknesses, may sakit at karamdaman ka, Ah, Sister Lala, if she's watching right now, there's a huge block between you and God and that sicknesses. Kung may cancer ka, brother, uh, Sister Lala, mind you, this is the opportunity that God will prove to you that you can overpass. You can pass over yung cancer na yan. I'm told, Sister Beth, Sister Beth, Sister Beth, she's always telling, Pastor, baka po mamamatay na ako. No way! I told him. I told her, sorry, last Tuesday, sabi niya, Pastor, mamamatay na ako. No. I whispered to him, to her, sabi ko, the Lord will do wonders and miracles. Amen. Siya po, nanginginig siya, nanginginig siya sa, 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 sa saig. In the name of Jesus Christ, sabi sa kanya, di ba na bed, rise up and walk! Yeah. You know the good thing for her? Sabi ko, sister, you need to be baptized in Jesus' name. Yes, I will be baptized in Jesus' name. See, the following day, nababtay siya in Jesus' name. And tignan mo siya ngayon. Kahapon lamang siya'y malukot. Ngayon, tuwing, di po ba? See, if you will be confronted, or you are already in the front of your Jericho wall, utang man yan, ah, pagsubok man yan, that you cannot even penetrate, ah, sicknesses yan, bitterness yan, hatred sa asawa, problema sa financial, problema sa, 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 sa whatever na problema mo, brothers and sisters. You have only two choices to make. Today, do not leave this room or this building. You can face your Jericho wall right now. I know it sounds ridiculous. Anong gagawin ko, Pastor? Pumalakpak ka, sumigaw ka sa Panginoon. Yun lang? Yun lang? Sila nga, kumikot na eh! Don't make excuses. Come on, church. Don't make excuses. I know it sounds ridiculous. You have one day, ikut ka. Second day, you're just roaming around. And on that seventh day, seventh day, this is the final round. Huh? Final round, di ba? Ano yung nilalaro mong games, bro? Yung gumagano pa sila? Huh? Hindi we sports. Ano yan yung mga Chinese? Final round. Street fight, yes. On the seventh day. Seven times, sila po'y umikot. It sounds ridiculous, right? Siguro crazy people only will do that. But sometimes God will put you in a situation that it sounds ridiculous. Amen. But that's the power of God. <laughs> Pumapalakpak ka lang, akala mo walang nangyayari. Meron! Woo! You're just clapping your hands. Something is going on right now. Something is going on right now. It's a spiritual battle. Come on, church. Yes. You are facing the giants, the wall of Jericho. Something is going on right now. Come on, church. Woo! Come on, church. When you come to your Jericho, you have only two choices. Flee from it or face it. Huh? It's up to you. You can go now, flee from your problems, or face it. Face it. Amen. Maganda sa let's face it. Nawala yung mga brackets ko dun. Let's. Nagpapatawa ko, but I know Satan is not happy right now. I can feel that the walls of Jericho in your lives come down. The walls, let the walls come down. Dati ang yabang yamang mo, you have all the bitterness, hatred, and pride right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will come down. It will come down. Amen. Dati, yang yaka, wala kang, wala kang pake sa buhay mo. Pero ngayon, no, God already gave you His power and authority, brothers and sisters. If you will face your Jericho, you have only two choices. 
Flee from it or face it. It's your choice, man. I don't want to tell you, flee from it. But I'm telling you, we have to move forward. Ano mga situation? Ah, your situation now is really bad. But you have to move forward. You have to move forward. Don't let the devil give you a deceiving spirit. Move forward. Come on, church. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. But obey the word of God. Obey the word of God. I know it sounds ridiculous. Ano pa ikot yung papalakpak lang ako? Yes, it does. It matters. It matters. Come on, church. It matters. It matters. It matters. Take your eyes off the problem and fix them upon God. Huwag kang mag-focus sa Jericho wall ng buhay mo. If you will focus, you will just suck your thumb and then sasabihin mo sa Jericho, wala akong magagawa. Yes, wala kang magagawa. Pero ang Diyos ay may magagawa! Right? How many times I'm facing a lot of troubles? Ah, uh, Lagi ko sila, oh, kumusta ka na? Oh, pastor, problema. Oh, hindi ko na kaya. Oh, hindi mo kaya talaga. But God can do the impossibilities na maging possible. Magiging possible. Everything is possible. Amen. Don't focus sa problem. Mag-focus ka sa Diyos. Obey God! Even when it doesn't make sense. Yes! Pastor, mag ako ng Don Was. Yes! Ikigising ako ng umaga. Yes! How many people they are attending the Don Was until now they are being blessed by God? Huh? Yes, God is talking to you. It needs a lot of sacrifices. It needs a lot of things. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Don't quit. Sister LB, buhay na pa to. She never quit. She was diagnosed to have cancer, brothers and sisters. Stage 2, right? Stage 2 cancer. But she never quit. She never quit. Yung iba, they have problems. But along the way, they quit. They stop attending prayer warriors. They stop attending berets. They stop ending. Sabi lang, ganun na lang. Talaga ganun eh. Oh, talaga ganun nga. Pero yung plano ng Panginoon, yung provision ng Panginoon, yung binigay ng Panginoon na promise sa'yo, hindi nagbabago. Ikaw ang nagbabago! Because you left. Nandiyan na sa harapan mo, Jericho, it's in front of you. And then you leave the place, brothers and sisters. Sinong talunan? Ikaw ang talunan. But those people who never quit, huh? they have the promise na ng Panginoon. Did you claim it, Sister LB? You are clear now, walang cancer. Even one single cell, walang cancer. You claim it? Nanay Beth, yung kidney mo nag-shut down na. End stage renal disease. Do you accept it or not? Accept no, may sakit ka? Accept mo that you are healed? Isigang mo, I'm healed. Amen! Wow! You're healed. You're healed. Amen. Wow. Sister Joy Lucas, Pastor, wala na akong trabaho. Binigyan siya ng trabaho ngayon. Friday, off. Saan ka ba? Di ba? Ay, ito naman. Dito naman ako. Brother Joseph. Walang visa. He has no visa, brothers and sisters. They have some problems in their pre previous employer. But we never stop. My wife never stop. And brother Joseph never stop and never quit. Kahit may sakit siya kahapon. Sipon Simon. Kahit naawa ako. Pag uwi ko, may sipon na ako. He never quit. Bukas, si brother Lamar naman ang may, ano, may sipon. Don't quit. Keep the faith. Keep the faith, Church of God. Wait on the Lord for the victory. Let the walls come down. Let the walls come down. Come on, Church. Let the walls come down. Let the walls come down. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
espírito de uma sicknesses, espírito de diabetes, espírito de hipertensão, espírito de parada que tem chan, espírito de crônico renal failure, espírito de anemia, espírito de carmo maldoma na saída de carmo daman, espírito open personality, espírito de carmo maldoma, espírito de sexual immorality, espírito de fornication, espírito de adultery, espírito de carmo maldoma da outra, espírito de catamaran, espírito de saída de carmo daman, you will be cast down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, it sounds ridiculous. But once you have the power and the authority, amen, you are more than conquerors in Christ. You can conquer all. Kayang kaya mo yan. Don't give up and never quit. Claim the promises of God. Claim the plans of God. Claim the provisions of God. Ano man ang Jericho wall na meron ka ngayon, brothers and sisters, don't quit. Don't look back. Fight the good fight of faith. Huwag kang magpapadaig. Huwag kang magpapadaig. You know, I praise God. When I was in the hospital, Pastor praise. Some of the brethren who left the church, they came back. They came back. And they saw me. And they hugged me. And they came back in their ministry. Kailangan ko pa ba ulit na ma-admit sa hospital para magbalik ka sa ministry? Kailangan po bang magkaroon ng sakit at karamdaman mga mahal mo sa buhay so that you will realize, oh, I have to go back to Jericho Wall because I was enjoying in the wilderness. Never in my life na may nag-testimony that they are happy in their wilderness. Nobody. Don't go back. Move forward. Amen. Because you're missing a lot of blessings from God. Yung blessings na dapat binigay ng Panginoon. Now what happened? is stagnant. Pass over. Amen. You can conquer your walls. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed, church? Give him a hand, cup of praise. Palapang pulan panginoon. Come on, church. Let's shout with a shout of triumph. Come on, church. Come on, panginoon, Lord God Jesus. We worship you, Lord God Jesus. Thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus. We worship you, oh Lord God, Jesus. We worship you, oh Lord God, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Narito po ang mga anak, Lord God, they are facing the wall of Jericho in their life. Yes, oh Lord God, not all of them they will face. Some of them, they will flee. But Lord God Jesus, embed into our hearts, Lord God Jesus, that this battle is not our battle. This battle belongs to the Lord. Pakikibaka mo ito, Panginoon, Lord God Jesus, because you promised that you will never leave us, nor forsake us. Right now, oh Lord God Jesus, palakasin mo po kami, Panginoon, Lord. Give us your strength, oh God Jesus. Renew our right spirit within us, oh Lord. Bless us mightily, Panginoon, Lord. As we worship you in spirit and in truth, you will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, Father, Lord, sa anointing na binigay mo sa oras na ito, sa transformation na binibigay mo sa amin, Lord. You will always, Lord, take us out from the darkness and you will bring us into your marvelous light. We thank you, Father. Bless, Panginoon, Lord, ang mga hearer, not only hear of your words, but your doers of the word. We claim it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, church. May we request everyone to please remain sitting.